Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages, to the Call of Cthulhu Radio Show, brought to you live by the Little Daisy Cafe of St. Louis, Missouri. Tonight on Call of Cthulhu, does Walter get killed by a shotgun Luis? Does Jack pick up on cigar smoking, or will he hack out a lung? Will Runa end up in the funny farm? Does Laura keep supplying Nana with her medicine? Will the game master kill that plot buddy? Will the fly on the wall get a chance to eat that half-eaten sandwich you put iron up in the trash? All that and more on Call Cthulhu. <laughs> Thank you, Ford. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the second session of Call of Cthulhu Song and Dance. Uh, yeah. So, quick recap. We are, well, at least for the last half of the Call of Cthulhu session last time. Walter is, he managed to get out without getting his face blown off, so points there. Um, Miracle. Runa and the members of the band are in some, uh, having some trouble. Luis is not impressed with anyone and every anything. And Laura and Jack are trying their best to help. <laughs> uh, poor strangers in the True. night. Drawn into this trap <laughs> of troubles and woe. Yep. Yep. All right. So, if it's cool with everyone, I'd like to start our session with Walter as he's leaving the Chateau de Lys and back on the street. Are we good with that, or? Yeah, I'm good with that. Good luck, Walter. Yep. Bye. Best of luck. <laughs> All right. May the dice ever be in your favor. Yep. <laughs> All right, Walter. So you are walking, or, or you're hurrying as fast as you can away from the Blanc Market and past the Chateau de Lys. Obviously trying to... Go out your merry way. Um, is there any particular direction you are going, or are you just going straight? Well, it would be of help if I had a map. Because uh, I can I don't remember exactly where where I was. Oh. Or where that is. It would also probably help if I shared my screen in the Discord. <laughs> Yes, no, we have to use our imagination. No, I spent a long time doing that. I'm concerned. No, 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 no. I spent a long time on that map. It is a oh, lovely map. map. Let's see. All right, where was I once again? On the sidewalk. You're on the sidewalk. I imagine you're going away oh, from oh. the speakeasy and away from the crowd. Okay, let me just get my <sighs> forever, forever regretful that I didn't put kill points on locksmith. Otherwise, I would have been uh, breaking into the store because I'm hungry. Mm, no, I don't. I don't see anything in particular I would like to do. I think I'm good with being kicked out um, two times of the same place on one night. So I think I'm gonna pass the spotlight to to the other guys and see if there's any opportunity I can talk later. Um I'm just gonna stand on the sidewalk for now. You're gonna stay on the sidewalk for now? Okay, so yeah. in the distance coming the opposite way, so coming towards you, you see a rather broad shouldered, powerful looking woman. She's she's got short curly hair. She seems to be dressed um Fancy, but not a weird mix of like casual and fancy. Business casual. B yeah, business casual. Um, she's coming your direction, and she spots you. Uh, and she's like, "Well, where's the fire, honey? What? What's going on?" Um. Well. 
uh, it's kind of a rough night, so like I would appreciate if you didn't scream at me like that. I turn to her, obviously I say that. <laughs> what? Yell at you? I just project my voice, darling. That's that's all. And she kind of stops for a second and she kind of looks you up and down. Wait a minute. Are you... Oh. You were one of those spell architects, aren't you? Oh my... What? what? I'm sorry, do I know you? You want to make a knowledge roll? Yes, please. That, that is just very specific. Yeah, go ahead. Roll education. Uh, Alright, let's roll. What, what dice do we have? D100. And oh no, seventy four. That's right. That's good. Um, you recognize her as one of the people running like the tourist industry. Um, she seems to be pretty well known. You know her only as Miss Y. Um, but you know that she's part of. Like the tourism thing, uh, department. You know that she runs uh things relating to tourism and a couple of businesses here and there. But you only know that her name is Miss Y. Okay. Okay. Oh, um, I'm terribly so I'm terribly sorry. You are um, Miss Y, right? Oh, the. I didn't expect you to encounter tonight. I'm just having a bit of a rough, uh, a, a bit of a rough uh, time night tonight. Oh. Um, these aren't the clothes I usually wear. I just, um, you know, honey, going honey, for a, it's you know, all right. I, I Trust me, you, you're pretty infamous. Not everybody can piss off the Savoy family quite as fast as you did. But that's okay. I take it you're having a little bit of trouble. Finding a job? Um, well, I wouldn't say that, but now that you mention it, you know. Why? Why, is it, why are you asking that? Oh, oh, no reason. But, being that it's almost the start of the new year, how about I give you a little bit of a job? Just a quick little one. Well... Uh, what does this job consist of, first and foremost? <laughs> she chuckles, and um, from inside of her vest, vest pocket, uh, she pulls out a small envelope-looking thing. And she also pulls out about $200. Well, honey, all I need you to do is find me the... Man known as Gabriel LeBlanc, and I need you to give this to him. It's just an invitation thing, rather harmless. But you do that, you get to keep the two hundred dollars and get yourself a meal and train ticket out here at New Orleans. Wow, well, Walter is just having this dead pan depressed expression on on his face, like not this shit again, not. <clears throat> Am I allowed to swear in here? Yeah, you can swear. All right, not this shit again. <laughs> of course, he's thinking it. He's not saying it out loud. Hmm. He's normally he would be over at one of my establishments celebrating the holiday. However, he wanted to go spend time with his family or something like that. Frankly, I think he's just trying to make sure his his brother doesn't get kicked out again. But he's at some, the Chateau de Lise, I believe is what it's called. And there it is, thinks Walter again. Uh, um, huh. can, I, can I just think for a second? Yeah. What to do? What to do? Jeopardy music. Can I, in the background. can I haggle with her? Uh, 
um, what do you mean by haggle? I don't know. I, I don't remember if I pronounce in the word correctly. Can I just shoot for more than two hundred dollars? Oh. Like say I don't know, three hundred, five hundred. He wants to try to bargain for more money. Exactly. That. That. Go thing. ahead and ask. Oh. Okay. Do I have to roll anything? No. Nope. Yet. Go right. Ahead and ask. Okay. <clears throat> well. Actually, I I am quite uh, I am quite acquainted with those people as of recently, so I might be able to help. But um, two hundred dollars seems to be like just uh, just a tad too low. Perhaps I don't know. Throw in um a couple of three hundred more, maybe. What the hell did you do to piss off Louise? Look. <laughs> it wa it has been a rough night. I just wanted I'll to say. Sleep. That that club is is very uh how do you say noisy. Uh and I'm going to keep it like that. I'm just going to stop at that. So is it possible or or do I, or should I be on my way? Not, not to be rude to you, ma'am, but it's, I'm quite tired. She pauses for a moment and kind of appears like she's thinking about it. Well, unfortunately, I don't have any more extra cash on me besides what I have in my hand now. But what I do have is an IOU, if you would like to do that. So if you take this job and you take the letter to him and then you come back, I might be able to get you the other half of the money. Mm. Or can I do an? Uh -huh. Huh? Oh, no, please continue. And or I could yell for the police officer that's behind me and tell him I saw you trying to rob the LeBlanc market. And while the man is not on my payroll yet, he is going to believe every single word I say. Oh my god. Um, okay, can I do a knowledge roll to recall if she if she's trustworthy? Uh, because I have known her before, right? Uh... I, I think that would be a psychology roll. Okay. So if you want to roll psychology... I don't have skill points of that. Can I do that? Yeah, you can do it. You just got to get under 10%. All right. <laughs> Let's roll this thing. <clears throat> 97. <laughs> you, if she said jump, you would jump. You trust her that much. <laughs> oh my god. Alright. <laughs> Walter, Walter stretches his hand to take the money without saying a word. Alright. There we go. I'm glad you do have some brain in that head of yours. Now, if Louise gives you any trouble, just say that Miss White sent you, okay? Now. Right. He nods and he's off to the alley once again. <sighs> oh my god. Alright. Let's, ju let's just walk through to the stairs. All right. <laughs> Make your way up the stairs, and now you're in the little room where people get pat down. Um. Do you want to try and call out through <laughs> through the booth room, or do you want to just kind of like? 
Oh my god, how do I, how do I recover I from last time? You Just tried to sneak in. If I can give advice, am I allowed to give advice back? That sure. Uh, <laughs> just, make shut up now. just make ghost uh -huh. noises and just be like, Gabe, Gabriel. <laughs> um, hmm. The I third mean, time sneaking in this cafe, and I don't even drink now. You will right. by the time this campaign's over. <laughs> Yeah. Both in character and in real life. All right. Sneaking in. Sneaking in. Okay, so you're trying to sneak in? No, I didn't. Okay, I, Wait. I, I just want to double check before we continue on. Or oh, I, I'm still holding the shotgun. <laughs> oh, no. Is, are there any vents, like in Among Us? No, none that you can access. Ah, oh, God. Oh my gosh. Just that I don't want to sneak in again because I've sneaked in three times. This is. You know what? I'm going to unlock the door. I'm going to unlock the door. You're going to lock yourself in the. Bouncer room? No, I'm going to knock the door. Oh, okay. And ask them. Okay. Uh, hmm? where's. Perception. Yeah, before before you do that, I kind of forgot what am I supposed to do. Why do I need to contact the band? What? Why do I need to talk to the band? You don't need to talk to the band. Uh, Miss Y wants you to deliver that envelope to Gabe. To Gabe. To Gabe. Yeah. Oh, all right. For some reason, I understood that I had to do that. I had to deliver that to the band. Yeah, you're probably, anyway, the problem is, is that Gabe is over here at the bar. Mm, okay, okay. <laughs> Continue, please. Yeah, um... So do you want to knock on the door and kind of hope somebody hears you, or...? Yes. Okay. Um... Perception. What would be the perception? Crap. That'd be. Momentary delay as I try and figure out what is the perception. Because I was, go I'm gonna ask everybody else to roll perception. So we all roll perception. Yeah. So let me try and. Uh -huh. Sneaking again. Perception from classes and all just. Oh, psychology. Oh, that's me. Yeah, I need everybody to roll a psychology roll. How is psychology a perception role? That's what the investigating handbook says, so. <laughs> All right. It wouldn't be like a listen check? Really? Because he's knocking, right? I, uh, yeah. So, um. We're all learning here. It's all good. I've got a 29, so I pass. Okay. <laughs> What did she? So the lady with the gun can hear of the all people. Um, what are we using to? I got a ninety-one, so I didn't pass either way. Um, um what psychology? Using... Oh, psychology. Okay, one second. Yeah, I got a twenty-nine. I also passed. Okay. I got a thirty-four. I passed by one point. <laughs> so incredible. Okay, the lady that shot and heard this, that fly might be having a bigger meal than a sandwich. Uh, okay. Yeah. Oh, I gotta... That's funny. Okay. Yeah. Um, 
So two or er, Luis, Runa, Jack, you guys hear this very faint muffled sound coming from where you guys entered. And it's, right. a, it's a very weak kind of like I really don't want to be here now. Okay. Louise, do you want to open the door, honey? Uh, no, stay no. back. I don't know what's going on with you. Should I get the door? Do you know how to fight in case it's an intruder? I mean, if he opens the I door, mean, then you have a clear I know. shot. I can throw hands. <laughs> okay, if you can throw hands, then... Uh, oh, oh, do you, I mean, Gabe, do you want to come? Or Jack, do you want to come? Runa, you're Runa. sitting this out. I don't care. Oh, thanks, honey. Uh, Runa's gonna continue, like, she's looking at herself in a compact, trying to salvage whatever makeup she has left, because she's like, oh, I look horrid. People saw me like this. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right. Um, Gabe nods. He's like, oh, starts walking okay. over to the door with you, Jack. So, I walk over to right. the door, and I let Gabe or Jack open it and I have the shotgun pointed to the door. Ja uh, uh, Jack's gonna open the door. Okay. Uh, hoping, hoping, hoping that Luis does not accidentally shoot either of them. I'm not I going really to. I really hope you have your hands up in a surrender, <laughs> Walter. <laughs> With the envelope, like, really clear. <laughs> Actually, that's that was kind of the post I was hoping for. <laughs> I am just standing there with my hands up in the air and the envelope and waving the envelope on my face. What the hell are you doing what? again? You again? How many times do we have to kick you out? I don't trust you. I don't like you. And I really don't want to clean blood off the floor. So, why are you here? Hot shotgun. Well, I, as much as I would like to keep talking with you, Lady, I was actually um. I have trying... a name. My name is not Lady, and the fact that you've walked into my speakeasy twice and my general store, and you literally loiter outside of it, would garner that maybe you should get the respect to learn my name. Well, Miss, you don't actually know my name either, and frankly, don't you think there's a understandable reason why I keep getting into your business? Honey, if I have words for advice for you, if you have business here, state it quick. Louise has a happy trigger finger. Yes, I do. So, I recall that you have this really big guy, uh, the one that threw me last time. The one that's opening the door right now? You know he was can he throw standing right next to standing right next to Jack. Oh, was he opening the door? I thought it was one of. Oh, okay. Jack is standing next to him. Right. Yeah. Um. Yes, sir. Um. You. What was your name again? Gabriel. Me. Or the other guy. No, the other guy, the big guy. Okay. My name is Gabriel. Yes, that's exactly the, who the, I was. The other one you were looking for is Gaston. That threw you out is Gaston. But you're looking for Gabriel. Yeah. <laughs> they they both start with a G. <laughs> anyway, Gabe. it's confusing. So we so we understand. It it's I'm not saying that joke right now. Anyway, um, yeah, it's yeah that guy. Um, you see, I've been trying to give you this letter. This whole night. If you had a Can letter, I check that? <laughs> <laughs> you know, go ahead, Jack. If you had a letter to give to him, why did you not say that? Because at the beginning. Yeah, the I, miss? Who the hell just points a gun at someone without even asking a question? Okay. One sec, Walter. Jack wants to roll psychology to check that. Check that for uh, yeah. verification. Verification. Right, let's verify that. Um, are you, Walter, these are you gonna let Walter say that to Louise? Just checking. One sec. No. Let's have 
We're gonna. Okay. No, I'm thinking it. So Jack is going to check psychology role for what Walter said, saying he had a letter that he's the entire night has been trying to get Gabe the letter. Oh my god, why do I talk like this? I talk too much. I definitely talk too much. <laughs> Luis, you really need to install a no soliciting sign. Jack, I need you to roll the psychology roll. Gotcha. Good. Do you want well, me to roll wanna... it too? Oops. That is a seven. That is a seven. You know that he part of what he's saying is true, but not he's hiding something. That's it? You just got a letter? You've had this letter the whole night. I suppose you could say that. But more more important Where? is I have a, I have been having business with him the whole night. Okay. Where did this letter come from? Well, you see, um <sighs> look, I'm gonna be honest. There's there's a I used to be an architect a long time ago and now this this uh, lady uh told me that she she needed Lady uh that Gabe, big guy. Gabe immediately, yeah. Gabe immediately cuts you off. Lady? Like any kind of lady or what? I don't know. He she was like um she was like how how do I say this? You know when you are dressed formally but not too formally? Casual? <laughs> Business yeah. casual. Yeah, that. Exactly that. Um God, I forgot, I forgot What's the name? If you talk to her, you know your her name. Yeah. Right? Well, not really, because you... she is very secretive. We this could be. Know... Hmm? This could be like something dangerous you're giving to us, like. Beth, uh, Louis shoots into the ceiling. Can <laughs> Jeez. <you> answer that? <laughs> uh, I'll let I'll let it roll. You. you... Okay. Walter, um, I need you to roll one d six for somebody. Insanity. Nice. One D six. Okay. Thirty-four. Yeah. So Just I, Walter has to roll that. I successively shoot the ceiling, I think. <laughs> You're destroying your <sighs> Oh no, five. Okay. You're at forty five now. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, Just Walter has to roll that? Because that's pretty jarring effect to happen, right? Uh Jack, you can. Yeah, I think Jack, more I is a bit freaked at that. Those who are affected who by guns, roll sanity check. Um, so, is, which is what? Oh, sorry. Beth, so I would Jack like to Laura. argue that since Runa has been around Luis and she has been Runa's threatening to shoot all night, that Runa does not have to make the sanity roll. Runa's fine. <laughs> Runa's, this six. is a typical Tuesday. <laughs> this is the I least guess. worst thing to happen to her all night. The so artist So what do night. we do with this number? Is it you subtract it from, from your D? current sanity? Okay. One d six, you say? Yep. Yeah. Or, yeah. So. Oh my god, I'm I'm having so much fun nearly getting shot all night. Oh no, it's uh one d ten. My bad. One d ten. Oh, um, oh okay. I'm gonna roll again then. Yeah. All Reroll. right. Reroll sanity. One d ten. Okay, my number is two. It's still a six. <laughs> at least it's not a ten. I know. I'm just amused at rolling the same number on both dice. Our kids are so cute with your little baby sanity lawsuit. <laughs> So, yeah, what did you have to yeah, roll like four these well, things? Like, Holy shit! Could um, you not do that, please? So Louise ignores Jack. She shot into the ceiling and is again I, the gun at Walter. You I five Gabe, seconds. Gabe looks you straight in the face, Walter, and he says, "What is that woman's name?" I don't know. I just know her name is. Mrs. Y or something like that. I know that he, much, okay? The color from Gabe's face immediately pales away and he snatches that letter from you. Well, you should have said something sooner, you idiot. Grabs it and immediately just kind of opens up the letter and is reading it. 
Beth, would I know who Mrs. Y is? Miss Y? Yes. Okay. Do I like her? Uh, oh, my God. I don't think I like her. <laughs> you can always DM. Uh, yeah, send it to me in a DM, Beth. Okay, give me a second. Meanwhile, I'm just... Meanwhile, I'm just kneeling on the floor. <laughs> Jack um, is very much on the verge of us trying to take that shotgun away from Louie. Honey, you might end up getting so, shot. So, you you're English. Um, while they're doing we'll that, see. I would like to take a moment to grab the cheapest, whatever the cheapest thing is behind the bar, right. and grab a couple cups, and I'm going to carry them over with the booze bottle and just start shoving cups in people's hands like... Darlings, tonight sucks. Why don't you just take a drink and let's calm down a little bit. We don't need more shotgun shells and the, the buckshot in the ceiling. I mean, look at it. You know how much we had to pay last time to get that repaired. Don't, don't. Just have a drink and sh just quiet down for a minute. Louise does not let go of shotgun and continues to point at Walter and raises a brow at Runa. Uh, I hope Laura pushes the glass away saying... I don't think I want to not be sober when there are guns about. <laughs> Thanks. Walter just well, Walter wants to no. say that <laughs> what we're opposites on that, and Jack takes the takes the glass from Bruno. Thank, thank you, thank you, you guys. Just, you can just take Laura's you. glass too. I don't care. It's probably well, he, coming he, out of my paycheck anyways. If the glass is big enough, he'll pour uh, Laura's into yeah. his own dick. You only got a two-finger shot, honey. Thank, thank you, Miss Runa. Oh, God. Uh, I just, I keep... Do I get a glass? Yeah. No. <laughs> Come on, it's my last drink of my life. <laughs> yeah, that's why you're getting one. Well, you nice. also killed the last lie of your life, too. <laughs> Okay. Was it a lie? Um, was it really a lie? Steve so after up the letter yes. and he sighs and he's like, Luis, don't shoot him. Give me three reasons why. Well, here's a good reason. Luis, you're so much prettier when you're not angry like this. And Runa, you're real pretty when you're not, you know, having a hysterical breakdown. So, oh, Ouch. Road. <laughs> Gabe, three reasons why. What the letter say? Blood is not related to him. Mm, then I get to shoot him. Yeah. That's great. Uh, nice. I'd rather not be on the, the wrong side of Miss Y's errand boy. You know how she tends to like keeping them and killing them killing them for herself. I don't know what the Wait, what? that is. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? All right, all right. Slow down, everybody. Gabe, what does the letter say? Who is this Miss Y? They run, they run the liquor into the city. One of the mafia families here. So ah. my question is, one, what does the letter say? Two, that what was my doing question. With them? It's a very valid question, Laura. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and three, why can't I shoot him? You kind of just rubs, just pinches the bridge of his nose, and he's like, it's a personal business. One, two, because I'm fairly certain he's going to end up dead by Miss Miss or Mr. Y. And three, I'd rather not have to clean up the damn floor. <sighs> Why can't you just like, I don't know, do what's the fucking thing that Benoit says? Citizens arrest or whatever. Because I don't want him back in my speakeasy. So why don't you do me a favor? Go tie him to the tree outside. Where he's gonna hoot and holler? Yikes. 
That's a good point. Time to the tree outside and gag him. <laughs> I will not speak. You really want to do that? that. I mean, you you do have a nice, lovely bathroom you can lock him in. Where he's gonna mess it up? He doesn't have any money to pay for repairs. Well, we could tie him in the bathroom. I can I can actually fix your bathroom. I don't want you touching anything, and with the rat you have on your shoulder, eh? -eh. None. God damn it, Mister Snibbles. The rat just kind of. The equivalent of a rat shrug. Huh? Rat does a little equivalent of a, like, rat shrug. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Nibbles, I can't help you. You know what? If I kick him out, he's just gonna come crawling back in. I'm tied up in the bathtub. If not, we're gonna waterboard him. I'm done with this. Do you have a bathtub in here? Of course we do, honey. Don't ask. Nana likes bathtubs for some reason. <laughs> they ordered one too many last time they were in the store. Gabe, tie him up, gag him, put him in the, the bathroom. Lock him from the outside. Yes, is that really necessary? He's just some guy. That has broken into my speakeasy three times and has lied to us twice. Yeah, all right, fair point. We've had a trumpet player drop dead that we've had to resuscitate and five people on hysterical breakdowns. We don't know what's going on. There are sirens. I am not taking any chances. All right. Let's shut them down finally. <laughs> yeah. Gay walks over to you. Walter grabs you by the shoulder and he's like, I apologize. But you're gonna have to come Why? with me. What? No, sorry, sorry. Um, I, I heard, I heard that badly. Continue. And he leads you to the bathroom. And bed. And he locks the door. <laughs> but I don't think he has any rope on him. Well, at least I'm not going to sleep on the street tonight. Alright. Now I just feel really bad. Louise, honey, can we... He's in the bathroom now. Can we put the gun down? <laughs> he the phone and keeps holding the gun, but goes ahead and calls Benoit. Benoit's not going to answer. All of the lines seem super busy. Call Louis next. Who? Louis. After a couple... Oh, no. Wait, let me double check and see where Louis is. <laughs> uh... While you're looking that up, yeah, that is it okay if I um kind of give a <laughs> little like hand wavy towards the bar? I'm like, well, I feel so terrible, Laura, that I've um invited you to such a clusterfuck. Um, would you like some snack food at least, since you uh, don't want to have a drink? Jack, you want another drink? Yes, please. <laughs> Um, Runa pretends she's a bartender. It's not great, <laughs> but it's mostly just tilt glass poured in downside, puts on counter, gets she's Laura a water. <laughs> Thank you. Um, Goes back to chain smoking like a champion. <laughs> um, Luis, after a couple of rings, uh, Luis picks up. Oh, Louis. Huh? He picks up. Okay. Louis, are you there? Yeah. Hey, where are you? I'm at home. You're safe? Yeah. 
Have you heard from Benoit? Do you know what's going on out in the city? I hear sirens. I'm hearing a lot of shit. I just woke up. Uh, yeah, I do hear sirens. Okay. Listen, um, depending on what's going on, I might need you to grab the car. I think either I gotta take someone to the police station or we gotta hit get head out of Dodge. Um raise his hand. Um Yeah, Runa. <laughs> Here's that you're trying to get Louis Lewis to come here. Her like voice cracks. She's like What? No, he can't come here. No, Louise. No. Runa. No. Please, I beg you, anything. Please, not Louise. Too bad. You don't get a say. If something goes south, we gotta get out of here, and he's our best chance of escape. Is that alright with you, Louis? Yeah, that's fine. I'll, I'll see what I can hear around my neck of the woods. I'll get the car ready. All right, just let me know. I'll call you if anything. I've got maybe a handful of people, maybe one of the bigger trucks. All right. All right. Thank you, Louis. Anything for family. Anything for family. Talk to you soon. Bye. Yep. Louis then just stands there, (laughs) not knowing what to do and incredibly anxious. Just you and a drink since. Yes. Okay, cool. Here you go. Pour yourself something. Because I'll just fuck it up. Yes, you will. <laughs> <laughs> well, I thought it was fine. Uh, honey, not to be not- rude, but um, Louise has Louise a palate. <laughs> <laughs> and if I don't get it wrong, I'll never hear the. Or if I don't get it right, I'll never hear the end of it. Can't believe you call Louis. Laura, Laura, Jack, I I don't know what's going on out there, but I think it's safer if you two stay here. Or do y'all want to go home? I'm content staying around the person with a shotgun. <laughs> that will not shoot me. <laughs> Gabe kind of yeah, I don't know what's going on here, but I think at this point, being here is probably safer than going home. All right, I'm going to go lock the door just in case. Well, actually, Good plan. I'm gonna go find Gaston. Gabe just kind of is like, I'm gonna go grab my brother, <laughs> and then we'll head home. No, if possible, if you find Gaston, as much as I hate the piece of shit, come back here. You're safer here in a group. We don't know what's going on out there. I think me and Gaston can handle ourselves, Louise. All right, all right. Go on. I'm going to lock lock the door behind you. Will do. Stay safe, Gabe. Hmm? Stay safe, Gabe. You too, Miss Runa. Blows him a sad little kiss. <laughs> <laughs> Starts just drinking from the bottle. <laughs> <laughs> oh hey, who's a wreck now, huh? <laughs> Shut up, Luna. <laughs> <laughs> so Gabe leaves. So we're left you. with the rest of the band members. Walter oh, in the bathroom. Was still here. Walter in the bathroom. You guys still at the bar. <laughs> Um, I'd like to go take some water and some snacks to the other band members because we've had a rough night. All right. <laughs> you cro- you excuse me. You walk over to them and they're not looking great, but you know they're not throwing themselves out of, off the balcony. Out the so. Yeah. That's good. Yep. They're just kind of listless and kind of quiet and just kind of like... Poor bandmates. Poor babies. 
It's been oh, one hell of a night. I'll say. Has Louise finally put the gun down? It's not over yet. Yeah, Louise, Louise is holding the gun, but she has it pointed down. It's in resting, and it's uncocked. Did you put the safety back on? <laughs> yes. Yeah. It fires into the ceiling again? No, it fires into the fires through the floorboard. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. No. Um, Kills someone. No, she's got the safety oh, no. on at rest, but she is holding on to it. Hey, so what happened to my rats? It's in there with you. Hmm, that's um, interesting. That's a bad question. Uh, Walter. Um... How well did you train the rats? Um, do I have to prove that with stats, or can I just say whatever? Um, say whatever. Well, very well trained, of course. Okay. <laughs> of course, you have to say that at this point. <laughs> um... I will thinking, can say I that huh? your rat is with you in the bathroom, but it's it's free to kind of go wherever in the bathroom. All right, done. Or if you're able to find some way to get it out of the bathroom. Okay, that's everything I wanted to know. Huh, I'm thinking of doing something, but I I am afraid that if I do it, uh, the trust, the already very, 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 very low trust that uh, Louise and the other guys have on me will be floored and I would end up tanked. But on the other end, if I stay, maybe I'm going to die anyway. So, like, I'm, in, I'm here just thinking, do I die later or do I die now? Either way, it doesn't matter says Walter in his depressed self. But like that's just uh that's just what I'm thinking. Hmm. So hmm. keep thinking. Uh keep going. I will decide later. Okay. <laughs> um so I guess we'll cut back to you guys. Uh Louise, Laura, yeah. Jack. Runa, um, keeper. Huh? Keeper. I said keeper. Is there anything in particular you uh want to do? Um, I think as far as Runa's concerned, she's probably gonna try to just keep mentally calming down, um, making sure that her other bandmates are like also stable. And just kind of like, maybe like laying her head on a table <laughs> and like oh. trying to calm down and just like smoking. <laughs> okay. <laughs> ash into the tray. Um, she's not quite sure what to do, but like some fluids is coming. I feel like she's kind of at that point where she's so exhausted already that she's like, okay, I just need to, hmm. Um, especially because she knows she can't get a hold of her support person, Antonia, because Antonia's working today, so. She's just like, what do I do? I <laughs> mean, <laughs> you know that Antonia had to work late, but you don't know how late. That's true. Um, I'm, I'm willing to give her a call. Like, at the two numbers I have for her after everybody gets to decide, like, what they're doing. Okay. I think Laura's sticking close to Runa and the band, just trying to... Both trying to be a calming presence and quite nervous of Louise at this point and trying to not be near the weird lady with a gun. 
Rita can just tell you weird pigeon facts that I, as the player, do yes. not know. <laughs> yes, like, that's the point did we're you at. Know the pigeons and doves are related scientifically. <laughs> They're in the same like family or something. Some science mumbo jumbo. <laughs> Yep, 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 that's the level of conversation we're at. Louise um, will probably go out to the balcony, see if she can see what's happening out in the street. All right. Um, so you head out to the balcony. It's chaotic. Um, if you look down the... Uh, right down the right side where you heard the sirens and stuff you're seeing um you're seeing an amb you're seeing a couple of ambulances you're seeing a few police officers you're seeing some speakeasy some other people from speakeasies that you know are near that area kind of crowding around and Judging from the hole in the one hole from the broken glass and stuff, it looks like somebody threw themselves off the balcony. Okay. And they're cleaning up the results of it. Jesus. The results. <laughs> um Louise kinda takes it in and she kind of sits for a minute because she could run down and try to speak with one of the officers, play the baby sister act, and try to see what information she could gather. But she knows she's probably safer in the speakeasy, so she's going to pause for a minute. All right. Um, looking, looking the opposite way... Um, you see a couple of officers start to head down towards where the ambulance is. And you also... That way, you also spot Gabe um, heading down towards where the ambulance is. Um, though he does seem to be trying to look down the left trying to see if he can find somebody while also double checking the letter. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna take that in for a minute. Okay. Jack, what are you doing? Um... So I was writing notes. Uh, Jack probably wants to talk to Luis a little bit. So he sits at the bar for a minute once Saruna and uh, Laura leave, and he takes a drink, and a sip of his drink, and then he takes the drink and doesn't go onto the balcony, but just goes like to the door, you know? Just kind stands of leans. Yeah, stands in the doorway, he leans against it, and he asks Luis, uh, how's it looking down there? It doesn't look good. Somebody jumped. That could have been one of our bandmates. I I don't know what's going on. Cops down there, there's an ambulance. And then I got my fucking cousin acting shady. Do you want me to go check it out? Yeah, but you can't go alone. But if I show up with a shotgun down there just to protect us, the police could arrest me. So, I mean... I could play the baby sister act, but I don't. I just want to try to find my brother. He's a cop. And maybe we can get some information. But at least right now we know the speakeasy safe, safest place for us. Right? Who's who's your brother? He's Benoit. He's on his way to be sergeant or lieutenant or whatever. He always keeps an ear on the ground for me. I tried calling him, but precinct's probably flooded. This is just the closest speakeasy. If everybody who can sing and dance suddenly just went wild, 
there's no telling how many people are, are, are trying to get help. This, this, yeah, this is a messed up situation. At least well, it would be safe. If you wanted to leave the shotgun with Runa, we could go down there and, and see what's up. You want to leave a shotgun? Runa's gonna just do a with the ugly person laugh. Drank the most amount of liquor. Well, did you, uh, <laughs> well, we have to. We should probably go down there and figure out what's happening. Walter I mean, from the bedroom. That's a bad idea. <laughs> I mean, no. if Walter says it's a bad, if the the gentleman in the bathroom says the it's a bad idea, that means it's a great idea. Uh, yeah, can I check for lying on the bathroom, please? No, I'm just, I'm just kidding. Um, Luis, uh, uh, do you want to roll Luis. this perception slash psychology to see if you can spot your brother walking down or coming down the street? Yes, please. Um, so it's perception and psychology, or one or the other? It's psychology. Psychology? Yeah. <laughs> hey, Beth. I'm so, I'm so glad I put points into that. <laughs> um, if I Bruno would have put more points hit. into that if I'd known it was the perception role. Hey, <laughs> guess who has the biggest psychology here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so Beth, I have a question. Um, yes, if, yeah. if Runa wanted to try to piece together like some the the loose threads that we have like to even imagine like oh like our band was a, impacted like I was impacted like what's the common thread um what would she need to roll um I think intelligence I mean, we can kind of deduce from, like, what Nana said, we're seeing out on the street, and what yeah. happened. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, taking that into account, like, I still feel like there's probably something I need to roll for it. So. Um, I'll say knowledge. Okay, is it just, like, a straight up? Is there a um, Luis, what did you roll for, um, perception? Or Thirty nine. What? Thirty nine. You don't see your brother. So he's not down there? You don't see him. If he's down there, you don't see him. Okay. Um so it would just be against my like Can... right? Yeah. Okay, so fun fact. You remember how the last time I beat it by one? Yeah. I beat it by one again. It was 64 <laughs> out of 65. <laughs> Incredible. Oh, Dice, I love you. Can I roll to see if there's anybody, any police officers I recognize? Uh, yes, yeah. go ahead and roll psychology again. Uh, Runa. I was going to ask if I can help Luis look. Uh, yeah. I mean, if, if she could just give me like a description of him. Oh, I, I think I failed. 42? Forty-two. No, because I have forty-five. You could succeed. Okay. 42. Unless it's a hard roll, but yeah. psychology. Yeah, I have. Oh wait, you have a thirty in psychology. Yes. So I failed. Aha. Yeah. So I failed again. There, Sorry, there's I'm a couple please. of people moving too fast for you to get a good grip. There's a couple of officers who. Some of you, some of them like you, some of them don't like you, and they kind of look oh. the same, so. Okay. You can't tell which is which. But, uh, Jack, if you want to ask Luis what her brother looks like, yeah. and roll me a psychology. Luis, what's your brother look like? Walks into the bar, opens a drawer, and pulls out a photo, a family photo. That looks like an asshole with a stick up his ass. No, he doesn't. <laughs> he acts like it. So I can roll psychology? Yeah, roll yes. psychology. That's ruinous sex, right? Is nope. That's a failure. That's 85. 85. Um, 
you see a couple of people that kind of fit the description, but there's like they don't have them, so you can't be like Yeah. None of those mustaches Louis, are quite right. Louis, there's no mustaches <laughs> on them. Jack, Jack's just like, is that your guy? Is that your guy? Is that your guy? <laughs> Three different people. Louis looks at him and asks, do you know how to handle a gun? Me? Me? Yes, you. Uh, honestly, no. I mean, you can... I, I could take the picture and you can send me out, I guess. I don't... Have you seen this man? Have you seen this man? We're gonna drop a missing posters real fast. <laughs> okay. Um, Luis goes back behind the bar and puts the shotgun away for the moment. Laura. Laura. Laura, yes, darling. Sorry. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Laura, do you know how to handle a weapon? Yes or no? No, sorry. Define handle. <laughs> if someone walks through that door that is not me, you grab this shotgun and you beat it with beat them with the back of the butt. Got it? You're in charge. Okay. okay. Let's go get my gun, Louise. I Runa? haven't today. Runa? Runa, yes. honey, you're drunk. Excuse you! <laughs> this is why Laura's in charge. <laughs> I was offering. There's no need to insult a girl when she's already down. I'm Damn. gonna go downstairs. I'm gonna go see what's going on down the street. See if I can get Gabe to come back here. I saw him going down. Um, and see if I can see Benoit. Okay? Do not open that door. I'm locking it. Alrighty. Alrighty. Stay okay. safe. Do, why do you want to go with you? I mean, you can if you want to. Another set of hands never hurt. Alright, let's go. Laura, you're in charge. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Toodaloo. <laughs> Proceeds to walk out and lock uh, the speakeasy door behind her. And locks the gate behind her as they exit out into the alley. The mischievous <laughs> bitch in me is just like, look at Laura. All right, she's gone. You want to let the weirdo out of the back? <laughs> I'm not gonna, oh. but ooh, I'm much I'm dead. You know, this might be a nice time to do what I was, uh, what I was planning to do. So, all right, Walter. Uh, Beth, yes. If I want my rat to nibble through the stuff they got me tied with, oh, what do I gotta tied. do? You're not tied. You're not tied. I am. Am you're I not tied? tied? He was not able no. to find anything to tie you with. He just locked you in the bathroom. Oh, I that was that was my uh, my understanding wasn't that it was tough. Huh. That's weird. So I'm just locked in the bathroom. Yeah. Like Hmm. Huh. And there's no window in the bathroom. Can you see the bathroom again? No, there's, yeah, there's no, no window in the bathroom. Nope. But there's gotta be um a place where the air comes out. There is a vent. A yeah. Dun 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 dun. But vents are really small. I don't know if you've ever seen vents in old houses. Oh, uh, that's fine. I know exactly what I'm supposed to do now. Alright. Huh, so... Good luck hmm. to your rat. Thus, uh... Is the bedroom locked from outside? Yeah, you cannot get out. Okay, is there a keyhole on the... On the uh, bathroom door from inside. Uh, yes, Beth? but it's not really much of a keyhole. More of it, it's just a small little hole nobody can look out of. Uh -huh. Okay, so in my inventory, I have a letter belt. Can I use the pin of the letter belt to try and unlock the door? Like a lock pick check? Yeah. Alright. Um. How about you roll sleight of hand? 
I roll what? Excuse me? Roll sleight of hand, so you have to hit 10%. D100. I am so screwed. <laughs> oh no! What did you roll? Wait, do I gotta hit or do I or do I gotta roll below it? What is the number you hit? Ah, uh, twelve. You try and you um. Do a part your buckle to try and pick the lock, but your belt buckle is too thick. The the metal is too thick to actually hit in the hole. Oh no! God damn it! Um. Hmm. Okay, so if my rat is that well trained, um, can I send send them to get uh, uh another pin or something? Pin or something, or like a bobby pin. Yeah. Um, you would have to open the vent for the rat to get into the vent. So, if you would like, can you repeat that again? You cut off. Um, you need to. You need to either kick out, kick the vent cover off, or open it. Figure out some way to open it. Oh, okay, in order right. to let your rat in. Is it bolted? Is it um what's what's do you have a description of the thing? It I is mean you a, it's basically your standard vent. Um the screws to it do look kind of rusted and it does look a little bit well worn. I'm sure. Um, so I can, I'm sure. I can just pull it out. Uh, hmm? Roll me a fighting. Nice. Or actually, hold on. Um, Wait, one sec. Roll me a strength check. Right. How much is that again? <laughs> 55. D100. Come on, come on. Come on. I hate this website. <laughs> I hate it so much. 97. 97? 97. You kick it, and it will not budge. And Laura and Runa, Runa can both hear you, hear you loud yeah, and was, clear. I was afraid of that. Yeah. Um, that can I do is what I figured. Mm hmm? What was it, Jess? Yeah, that's what I figured. You and Runa start hearing this banging sound coming from the bathroom. Right. He's not real good at sitting. (laughs) He sure isn't. I just don't know if I want to get on Louise's bad side as much as letting this guy out. Uh, you absolutely do not want to get on Louise's bad side. Um, let me finish changing Thanks, into my normal clothes instead of, you know, my wonderful, spectacular outfit. Um, so if push comes to shove, I will be actually maybe helpful. So Runa is um, yeah, go for it. out of her, you know, fancy dress for singing performances and it's just changing into the normal like shoes knee-high socks skirt okay. uh, blouse cardigan combo that's super common in the 20s she's cute as hell all right and all things considered <laughs> um, change change yep She is going to go to the door, and she's going to be like, why are you banging around so much in there, dear? Okay, can I do something? Yeah. What do you want to do? So, so, uh, oh no, but she's already done that, right? She has already opened the, the bed. Nope, she's... I didn't open anything. I'm talking to you no, through we're... the door. We're okay. discussing whether to let you out. If you have an opinion on this, you can probably... State it through the door, but 
The door is not open. Should I lie again? <laughs> I think it's been <laughs> due to so hot in the past. You. I don't think it's been due to so hot for you so far, personally, but like it is your choice. D, sir, do whatever you think Walter would do in this situation. Oh my God, what would do in this situation? <sighs> he would just carefully place himself on the floor just in case and say, Oh no, I fell. It's just that these bathroom tiles are very slippery. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> well, hopefully you didn't hit your noggin, but um, can you keep it down just a little bit? Maybe just tad. I mean, I'm, I understand it's not the most comfortable place to be, um, kept like a like a like a small animal who's misbehaved. But um, you really don't want to make Louise any more mad than you already have. Tell me about it. Um, say is she always like this? Like super impulsive? Impulsive, honey. Um, to put it lightly, you a stranger walked into her safe place. You lied to her. Nobody likes getting lied to. And not only did you not respect her boundaries and you came back multiple times and lied to her multiple times, what is a girl supposed to do? She's just protecting her livelihood and her people. Yeah, I guess I just didn't re- wait a minute. I just didn't realize it was, like, the, um, a big deal. It's just, it's just, a, it's just a cafe at night. What's, what's oh. so important about it? Honey, that's not my business to go into, but trust me, this cafe is more than just a building to her and to the people who frequent it. It's a safe haven. And we would really like it to stay a safe haven. Well, I'm not against that. Honestly, the last thing I want to do is be here any more than I have. <laughs> but Why do you keep... Oh, yeah. I've let a thing short, sure, but what do you want? What are you doing here? You want me to be honest? Yes. yes! For once I am, in your life, I would like that. <laughs> I am really hungry, and people keep bribing me to keep enter here. I have no idea why, but they just keep. And honestly, <laughs> I would rather have... I would have rather... Uh, if your boss would have just said, Yes, you can help out at the store earlier this morning, none of this would be happening. Why? Because I would have a safer income. But no, now they gotta keep money. A, uh, accepting money from strangers because your boss is. You can't really expect somebody else. to just hire a stranger out of the blue. That's that. That's not. That's and not on not her. That's a mean. reasonable decision. Not to be mean though, uh, our store isn't actually that big, so like it's kind of a one-two person job. Um, and we did give you a sandwich, and we did give you addresses. Of places that could, you know, help you get back on your feet. Like, we understand that you are looking for help. And we do feel bad. We couldn't offer you more help. But we, we did give you places to go, sweetheart. Well, I guess that's fair. I mean, you know, hunger does things to you. And, well, I guess I have been acting quite impulsive this night, but... I don't know. I feel like it's just a little bit justified. Maybe that's just me. Maybe Darling, I, ha I have know. been on the street too much. She's what do you think? Like, she's like, darling, do you smoke? She's gonna like shove a couple cigarettes under the, <laughs> the hole in the door, a couple matches. <laughs> Are you does... drinking matches? It's just one. It's not like he's probably gonna lie. There's nothing flammable in there. Alright, fair. Rena's secretly a walking ad for Newport. 
<laughs> is there like um a first aid kit on on the bathroom or something? Nope. Nah, it's behind the bar. God damn it. I was like, oh, a bottle of alcohol. Oh nice. <laughs> 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 she can pour I underneath think the door. The for one me. place we don't keep alcohol is in the bathroom. <laughs> it is because there's been one too many times somebody was drinking, wasn't paying attention, and ruined the floor. I mean, there was alcohol, yep. but not in a drinkable fashion. <laughs> it's because somebody upshot it. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> All right. Um, um, yeah, yeah, let's not. I was actually uh, suggesting that, um, oh, did you give me a match and a cigarette? You get a cigarette and a match. <laughs> yeah. Make it count. <laughs> By not setting the place on fire, please. <laughs> I was going to say you gave him the means to set the place on fire. I think it's the same thing. But honestly, I, I, um, I Walter wouldn't do that. Because... that. Walter, you are in a locked room and you cannot unlock it. So if you set the place on fire, you're going down. <laughs> you're That's also her. a good point. <laughs> oh, yeah, and it has no windows. I'm gonna go. I'm I'm, just, I'm going down first. I think. Yep. Okay. So I'm just accepting the, cig the cigarette. All right. Is there anything else you guys want to do, or? Contemplating potentially get him food, so I'm gonna walk to the bar. I'm gonna think about it, but I'm <laughs> not gonna do anything about it yet. So if <laughs> if you want to jump to um, Jack and Luis for a little bit, I'm down with that. While I really think about, does this man <laughs> need a sandwich? All right. Or do I want to let him rot in the bathroom? <laughs> Luis, how long do you think it is before they uh, hurt themselves? I don't want to take too long and find hey, out. Laura's sensible. <laughs> she, Luis trusts Laura. That's why she put her in charge. Um, takes Jack's hand. I don't want to take too oh. long and find out. I am taking your hand because a couple looks less suspicious than two people alone. Come on. Alrighty. <laughs> Right. He goes with, he's apprehensive, and he's like, okay. Okie dokie, I guess. So, Holtan walks into the crowd. Do I roll to see if I can see either Gabe or my brother? Go ahead and roll psychology. Do I also roll? Um, you um, can roll psychology for, uh, see if you can, yeah, both of you roll psychology. Oh, okay. I hit 29! Oh no, 26! Woo! Alright! Nice. I what got about you? 76, which is below my thing. Yes. Okay, uh, Tomb, you spot... You, you spot Benoit walking over to the scene. He's kind of pushing past people and kind of redirecting people where to go. He's kind of playing the role of damage control. Or at least trying to get enough space so that way they can get other officers a corner and stuff around. You also spot um, Gabe a little, okay. like across the street a little bit. And okay. you also spot Gaston closer to the crowd, closer to, um, to the building itself. Okay. Um... And Jack, Jack, you see the exactly the same thing, pretty much. All right. Jack, I, I see my brother. Go to Gaston and Gabe. See if you can get them back into the speakeasy. I'm going to run and talk to Benoit. See what exactly happened, okay? Sound like a plan? Uh, all right. If something goes wrong, scream, okay? Just, what do I scream? <laughs> um, scream lucky duck. Uh, okay. Okay. Yes. All right. Be safe. Sounds Jack like a plan. Man. All right. You too. Stay safe. Okay. Runs to Benoit and hugs him. Brother! Benny! Louise! I'm so Louise. glad to see you. God. Louise, what are you... Ugh. Not now. Not now. I... Listen, I need to know what's going on. We had a freak incident at my speakeasy. 
Just you too. Yes, I had to resuscitate a man. Look, Runa lost her fucking mind for 0.5 seconds. She's drunk and high as hell on I don't know how many cigars. And you left it by yourself. No, she's got people there. I've got uh, some patron is watching over her, and some guy kept breaking into our speakeasy. I need him out. You know what? I take it back. I do like Benoit. <laughs> Unrelated. <laughs> Then I was like, I can't right now. I'm trying to keep this from going too chaotic. Okay, but what's happening, Benny? We got we got a call. Do you need some singer? She's she had a breakdown, mental breakdown, threw herself off a building. A singer, like Runa. Taller than Luna, but I think a little bit older, but yeah, something like that. I don't know the details. I'm. They're calling here so they can try and get. Because there's other people freaking out and having accidents. Okay, what do you suggest we do? Stay in the speakeasy? Right now it's quiet, except for that. that bastardo that keeps breaking in. It's gone. I I don't know Luna. Um, or I, I don't know I don't know Louis. I mean, that's probably the best idea. I will try my best, but I'm probably gonna be be out here all night, if not most of the day. Okay, if something goes south, I called Louis already. He's ready to grab Bruna and I and get us out of the city, so you don't have to worry about the three of us. Uh, Gabe and Gaston were. We're in the speakeasy, but Gabe, something's up with him. I that's, don't know what it is. We have to narrow that one down, Luis. I know. He's Just... always there's always something going on with him. I, I know, I know. Okay. Um, but if there's any way you can give me more information, you can call me, right? Yep, that's what I'll do. Okay. Alrighty. Be careful. Alright, I love you. I love you too. Alright. Here's a little pat, and then he kind of turns over and he kind of starts directing other stuff. Okay. <laughs> she she kind of starts looking for Jack to see how he did with his mission. Was shit, it was Gabe, and who did you want me to talk to? Gaston. Oh, okay. So Gaston, is, clo Gaston really is closer up. to the speakeasy. Gabe is on the other other side of the street. They're both in opposite directions, so you gotta you gotta pick which side you're going. Uh, we'll do this. I'll I'll go see Gabe. Okey He's the one I remembered. I'll go see him. <laughs> <laughs> oh you see Gabe. He's in, he, he doesn't notice you uh, come up towards him, but he keeps he keeps uh, he's looking around. And keep as if he's looking for somebody. Uh, excuse me, Gabe. Hmm. What? Uh, hi. I th we met in the speakeasy a couple minutes ago. I. Yeah, I remember you. Uh, your sister Luis wants to talk to you like as soon as possible, preferably now. <laughs> Are you in the middle of something? He keeps, uh, a little bit, looking for Gaston, that's all. Oh, well, I saw him down towards the speakeasy anyway. I mean, we can just go, go back. No, that, Gaston gets a little punchy when he's had too many. Um, I don't want you to hurt yourself. I'll, I can go by myself. Can I check if he's lying to me? Go ahead and roll. It's psychology? Yep. That is 23. He is hiding something. Uh, what's what's going on, Gabe? Look, I don't want to talk about it right now. It's a personal matter. And frankly, we just met. I, yeah. 
Can you talk about it with your sister? Cousin, but... Cousin, sorry. It's okay. I'm new here. <laughs> You're good. good. You made that abundantly me. clear. No. <laughs> I don't want to get her involved in this. She's the baby of us. Are you sure? No. Nana would have my hide if something happened to her. Can you at least tell me what's up? Um, um. You want to roll fast talk? Oh shit, I forgot or I have fast talk. Rather give me a reason of why I shouldn't tell her that you're up to something. Uh why don't you roll a fast talk? See if you can convince him. Do it. <laughs> do it, do it, do it, do it. Gotta hit under twenty-five. Uh, that's a fifty-one. Damn it. Uh, you look can't win them all. Gabe looks at you and he's like, I appreciate you trying to help, but this is really something that I got I got handled. I, sorry. Well, I still don't see why I shouldn't tell Louise you're up to something. Louise has a tendency <laughs> to... <laughs> So Matt, you're gonna have to make this really good. To be impulsive. Rude. And that's. <laughs> and I, have I mean, he's not you. wrong. And you've seen what happens when she gets ideas in her head. That bearded guy's pretty damn lucky he ain't dead. That's true, but I think she has a lot. She had a lot going on in a small second. Yeah, and I don't need to add more to that. I'm sure you understand how... Louise? Like I... Louise rolls over. <laughs> I was gonna say, like, I was gonna say, like, I, I don't think Louise would appreciate me, someone who she just met, holding a secret for her family member who she loves. And that's why I'm not gonna tell you. Louise shows up. Not tell him what. Louise! Oof. <laughs> Rolls. Can I roll fast talk? I forgot I have it. Go for it. <laughs> and I forgot I got really good. I got a really good fast talk. <laughs> oh. oh no. Oh. Are we gonna oh. get to oh. see Nana blackmail right now in the flesh? Oh my god, I got a 14! Oh my gosh! <laughs> oh, oh, Lord help Lord me. Help okay. Me. Oh, evil cackling. Can, 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 can you give... You give... Gabe the look. The look. And... He's like, damn it, don't give me that. Oh. Gabe, are you really not gonna tell me? In this chaos, in this hour of need, what would Nana say? Damn it! <sighs> huh? That's a really dirty card. You, he kind of stomps his foot a little bit, and he's like, "Damn it! Damn it!" Because you pulled it, you pulled the card, you pulled the Nana card. I mean, Nana's freaking out. Uncle Bruno's in a situation. So is Jamie. How do you think I'm feeling worried? Ben was out there. You know, clearing dead bodies off the pavement. Do I really gotta go to Nana and tell her that you're just adding more on my plate, game? No, <laughs> damn it. Oh, oh, shit. Takes a moment to collect himself. He sighs. He's like, look. Louise, I don't know why Miss Y hired that homeless fucker. Who I I don't know. But the letter is a personal matter. Every once in a while they need me to take care 
<laughs> of a couple of heavy lifting things. And he happens to have a position open if I need the cash. And that's a problem why? It's not a problem, it's just the timing of it all. You know, I would have preferred <laughs> the homeless guy not breaking into the speakeasy multiple times just to deliver the letter. Is this the person you get your alcohol from? Yeah. They oh, let okay. the alcohol into the city. My cousin, my brother Cecil makes the rum and they let it into the city while they provide all the gin and whiskey. And the heroin. And the Excuse me? Oh, jeez. Okay. That's new. What heroin? Oh, what the... Yeah, what heroin? Yeah, what heroin? Y'all, I just want to give you a gentle reminder that you are in the middle of a busy street. It's... Mind your voices. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Out of character, just a reminder. Wink, wink, wink. nudge, nudge. I think you meant to say he heroin. Jack, shut up. Okay. Luis, you know damn full well that there's opium and heroin on the streets here. But not in my... Oh, damn. I know that it's full well, but you're not running any of that, are you? No, I'm not running it. Nana would have my head. Exactly. So what's the job? None of your fucking business. Gabe. Kind of. You're going to need to roll another fast talk, please. In, if you're moving drugs. 26? Uh, what was it again? I rolled a 26. I'm I, first seven. Wait, do I? Have I didn't seven? know if that was me or. Do uh, I have me. a seventy-five? Ha! Yeah. So you give Gabe the look again. He's like, sometimes, and he's kind of trying to figure out the best way to word it because he does. He's obviously not wanting to tell you guys this. He's like, sometimes they need me to pick up things, not drugs, not food. But like bodies, sometimes yes. Dang. Uh, you think they would leave it in like something unmarked to like plausible deniability? This. <laughs> they must be kind of dumb. Gabe just kind of looks at you, and he's like, <laughs> "You must be new in town." He is. How'd you know? <laughs> and Gabe just shakes his head and he's like, you better make sure the next, if you see any one of them, the, the, I'm gonna butcher this Italian and I'm apologizing in advance, the Sigano, Sigano family, that you make sure you have an extra gift for them. I've seen like men what? die for less. Listen, Gabe, bodies don't scare me. I ask you to come and pick up bodies every now and again from my place. That's why are you being suspicious? What is in the letter? <laughs> yeah, Sigano, that's his name, Jack. He, okay, thank you. Gabe kind of. It's a long story, Louise, and there's nothing you need to worry about. Well, you can tell me on the way back to the speakeasy, because I need some extra muscle. If I need to hire you for tonight to keep us safe, then I will. Oh yeah, I wasn't kidding. She needs you. Thank you, Jack. Does, <laughs> uh, does Gabe have the letter? He has Is the he... Holding it still? Yeah, he's holding it, but oh, okay. You're gonna have to have to do like yeah, I'm gonna smash that letter <laughs> to try and not while he's holding it. Yeah, he's holding it. 
he sighs and he's like, fine, fine, we will, fine, I'll help. Thank you. Keep it between hey, us. Huh? This conversation didn't happen. What conversation? I have no idea, Gabe. <laughs> you mean the conversation about the heroin? <laughs> Jack. <laughs> he you, Jack. <laughs> and he looks ready to kill you. But he's not going to do it in front of his baby cousin. <laughs> Luis, Luis. That's so sweet. Luis he won't do it yet. Arm. Just, Luis just hugs Jack's arm. You're going to want to stop talking. Come on, Gabe. Gabe okay. shakes his head and swallows. Um, do you, I mean, the next thing would be to grab Gaston. But yeah, he was by the speakies, eh? Hmm? I don't know. Huh? Uh, he was by the speakies. I don't know if he vanished from where he was standing by now. Uh, roll perception to both of you. Perception is psychology, psychology. again. That is a 59. 26. 59. I don't get I don't get the numbers. Like I see the big number and then the half and then the fifth. I don't understand what the difference is between the three. Um so, those are for depending on like a check, like let's say uh using locksmithing as an example. Um if you are trained in locksmithing, it's an easy lock. You would just roll and try to get above the or below the regular number. If it's a really complicated law, it's technically considered a harder check. So Beth will tell you, oh, you need to make your half or your fifth, and then you have to get under that number based on the difficulty that she's prescribed to it. Yep. Okay. See, yeah, okay. I wasn't sure, like, if you were going to ask me to differentiate between the three, so I was just taking the the big number and just doing that every time. Yeah, yeah, like, I think, unless it's a specialty check, which Beth will tell you, like, this is a hard use your fifth score or your half. Um, It's just the normal big number. Yeah. Gotcha. So you guys Nine. both pass. Um, you kind of, you see Gaston kind of, uh, Walking, walking away from the building, kind of towards Benoit, um, kind of more as a, I've, I've seen enough, and I'm about to tip over and fall over, kind of walk, and not a, I'm gonna cause problems, always, walk. I guess we go talk to him. Right? <laughs> I'm gonna leave that decision to you, Jack. You can lead me. I'm hugging your arm and. Checking and making sure Gabe's following us. Yeah, let's go talk to him. Well, let's go talk to him. Okay, we go talk to him. <laughs> you guys walk over to where Benoit is and where Gaston's kind of coming. He's. You doing okay, buddy? Mm -hmm. Something off. wrong? Benoit's kind of looking at you two and is trying to uh. motion for you guys to take Gaston because he's he's doing the sway he's Luis you might want to cling to Gaston that is a mm, fantastic option uh, oh. goes ahead and hugs Gaston's waist hello oh. asshole runner huh? alright Yes. Now let's go make sure you're all right. I'm gonna put the chicory on. All right. All right. Now I feel lonely with no one hugging my arm. Oh, I like Gabe's arm. Make it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. Um, Jack, Jack. I don't think you want to hug his arm. Grab it, Gaston's other side. If he starts to get heavy. I will drop him. Just all right. link up in a line, all of you. Take him under, under his arm over the neck, I suppose. Yeah. And we head back to the speakeasy. All right. You guys Home base. very carefully make your way through 
make your way back. You head down the alley, unlock the gate, go through up the stairs. Gaston's a little difficult because he's... You know, Luis, I didn't hear any gunshots, surprisingly. You have to make it back up no. here. I mean, I didn't expect to hear any gunshots because... It's I fully more... expected to hear gunshots. I mean, they could have clubbed the guy to death. I'm just more nervous he broke out and started hurting the girls. I'm nervous. Do you guys want to make a perception check to see what's going on? That just made me nervous. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm scared. I'm rolling psychology. <laughs> Jack, Louise, go ahead and roll psychology. Oh, I hit right on it. I hit a 30. <laughs> Alright, you got a 30. Jack, oh, what no, did you get? I sure hope Luis got it because I rolled a 96. I got it by the skin <laughs> of my teeth. <laughs> Alright. Laura, Runo, what does Luis see? As, as, is Luis now back inside of the bar? Yep. Okay. Um, Luis is going to see fishing. that Runa has changed into her, you know, the stuff she wears around the convenience store. Um, she's kind of sitting at the table. She's think like doing the thinking like, okay, like scales, la 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 la. Um, and like, she's trying to get up the courage to try singing again. <laughs> All right. Um, Laura, it's your turn. Um, Laura's sitting with the gun in a chair that's between Runa and the bathroom and kind of looking nervously between the two. All right. Do, do I want to know what happened? Yes. No, I'm asking Laura. Do I want to know what happened? Because she's standing there with the gun, so I'm assuming something happened. No, no, I'm I'm sitting with the gun. Well, same thing. Resting Wait. position. Uh, I'm still laughing. It's, it's all right. We had a bit of a talk with this guy. Honestly, Louise, I think you should just let him go. He's not going to be a problem if he leaves, and he is going to be a problem if he's here in your bathroom. I'm worried he's going to come back, and we're going to have more problems. Meanwhile, I'm just in the bathroom. Out of character. Sleeping. Did we ever learn your name, Walter? What? I don't think we did. Did we ever learn your name? No, I haven't, because you haven't given me the chance to introduce myself. At all. Alright, so I'm just gonna yell yeah, through the cold. door. Hey, are you gonna leave if we tell you to go away this time? You know, I am I am actually having separate ducks because this is the most comfortable room I have, you know, a long time. <laughs> But, like, if you're gonna unlock the, the door, I'm not gonna complain. It's, it's starting to get a bit claustrophobic in here. So... Laura it, shakes her head. Up to you, Louise! So Gabe's going to uh, look at the door, bathroom door and be like, What the hell is your name anyways? Wait, who who said that? Gabe. Gabe. Oh, my name? Uh Walter. What's yours? I need everybody to roll knowledge checks. I've kissed the cat for good luck. Um, knowledge. Yep. Knowledge is what? Well. Well, what kind of knowledge? Education. Gotcha. Oh, okay. Yes. Right. Dice, 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 dice. That is a 50. It's like a miracle I rolled a 30 when I have a really low education skull. Stores. Blah, 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 blah. Skull. 
to relieve me. <laughs> my well, that's a 25, so I'm doing good. All right. I rolled a 30. All right. Well, or not Walter, uh, Jack, what was your, edu- what was your knowledge roll? 50. All right. And Runa? I uh, rolled a 22 of 67. You guys recognize that name almost immediately as one as one of the recent scandals that hit the city was this individual named Walter. I'm gonna try and not bust her. Best got in trouble with the Savoy family, one of the well known families in New Orleans, and got himself fired from the Bell Architect. He is considered blacklisted. And it is not a good idea to hire him. God damn it. Wait, why did he get well, to the city? Yeah. The, according to all newspapers and individuals when asked about the case, he had a mental breakdown and out and lashed out at his, in, his co-workers and his boss and the Savoys. Uh, yeah, that's basically that's, what happened. Yeah, yeah, that's not a good look, honey. Yeah, <laughs> so can I'm, we put him now, Gabe? <laughs> Gabe kind of just he's like, um, I think this why I would have preferred to shoot him. Uh, if what? he's for if if the yeah, Savoy if he's on the Savoy's shit list, perhaps yeah. we should uh let that be the Savoy's problem and not our problem. Well, hey, do I roll to see if I have the Savoy's number or nah? Or um, no contact? Savoy contact. Yeah, they would not answer at this hour. Okay. All right, then. Beth. Yeah. Would Runa have a potential ex-boyfriend with the Savoys? You would not. Alrighty. However, you do know that the Savoys are co- are their cousins to the Lamar family. Lamar. So and you know that I know Lamar, that name. The the Lamars. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because Antonio works for them. Okay, can I make that call to Antonia now? <laughs> yes, you can. You can make your call to Antonia now. Thanks. This is like wow, getting your one free call when you get picked up by the cops. <laughs> um, I would like to call first the house, and if she doesn't pick up there, then I will call the Lamar's like servant line. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Uh, bring, 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 bring. After a couple of rings, the phone picks up. Antonio, who's this? <gasps> Tony, darling, sweetheart. I'm so Runa. glad you picked up the phone. <laughs> Runa. <sighs> I'm having the worst night, and I'm so glad to hear your voice. <laughs> Good to hear you, too. Unfortunately, Luna, I got a I have you got work called in special, special something, so okay, I, um, I'm i not going to be able to make it to your performance. No, it, it's okay. It was a, um, I'll tell you about it later. It was, it was a really bad train wreck. Um, one of oh. our guys had to go to the hospital. Um, yeah, it was really bad, honey. Oh. Um, but uh, I actually do need a favor. Do you know um, anybody who might have a number for the Savoys? Uh, we have a... Um, a problem, a, a cockroach that they might want to come catch. The one they catch. want. Yeah, we have their little rat, and we don't know what to do with him. So if you have a number or know a person who has a number, that would be swell. Well, I got to, I've got to get to my work, so I can't give you the number right now, Runa. But okay, give me about. Four or five hours, I, then I'll get you the number. Though I'm going to tell you straight up, it's going to be... It, you're going to have to do some heavy convincing that you're not going to be part of whatever the rat is. You know how they are. 
That's true. Okay, well, I'll see you soon. Stay safe. It's real crazy out there right now. You too, Runa. Bye bye. Kisses. Bye bye. She hangs up. She looks. She looks so defeated right now. <laughs> Like, if you thought Runo looked fucking, like, deflated before, now she's just, like, real back to it. What right. happened? Aww. <laughs> Laura goes over and gives her a hug. Thank you, dear. Um, well, my, my sweet hot honey buns. <laughs> oh, my fucking god for it, these gifts. <laughs> well, my bestie, my sweetheart. Bless her soul. Runa? Has a number Runa? for the okay. Savoys. Okay. But she had she got called into work last minute. So it'll be four or five hours until she can give me a call back and give it to me. And then there's also the bonus of, like, if we do call them, we have to convince them that, you know, we're not helping the rat and that we're not part of whatever he's doing. All right. So at that point, it might just be better just to di ditch him in the sewers and not have to deal with him at all. Raise of hands of who wants to keep him locked in the bathroom. Absolutely Shrugs. no one. Be before we have that vote, <laughs> I think it would probably be the best if we save that for next session. Give a cliffhanger for that. <laughs> no! Cliffhangers, Beth. Look how suddenly uh, I become the second antagonist of the story. Such a nice, it's such a twist. Well, I mean, I, mean, well, I think it would be better to have the cliffhanger so that way we're all prepared for next week. <laughs> <laughs> what are you gonna do next week? I don't know. Is that that's gonna why, be that's why I big the cliffhanger? <laughs> Oh, all right. Fair enough. <laughs> Tune in next week, ladies and gentlemen, for Cog <laughs> That's a wrap. Click. That is a wrap. <laughs>